Oculus Launchpad Week 6 Midpoint. Let's fucking go. Um, so this week was mainly about doing the design document, which is here, and then also doing the Excel type of thing, which I didn't, I was very new and green to, so that was uh, an eye-opening experience. I think I really learned a lot uh, by doing those uh, these documents. Uh, you know, I haven't really ever put it down in a more business way, but I understand timelines and the scoping of a project and what people we need and that sort of thing. But putting it in a business document was totally uh, eye-opening for me. Besides that, we were also pondering and like trying to iterate on the, the August 15th prototype deadline, but in uh, reality, they canceled that so that um, our developers and I are acting like that's still a deadline. So Joshua and Hector are um, working on that as well as I, um, just to see what we can get accomplished by then and also how we can iterate after that. Cause it's basically just the intro sequence and then we go into the full fledged experience. Uh, besides that, my boss back. My boss came back from maternity leave. She's super awesome, but that means that I have a lot more work, which is unfortunate, but it's also very cool because uh, it's great to have such a wonderful and positive person in the office. Uh, besides that, there was the Cinema 4D um, meetup. Uh, it wasn't a meetup. It was a. Uh, it was at the After Effects meetup, and Tim Lux came. So here's some of his work. Bah, bah, it's super fucking cool. Um, and he had the chance to talk about uh, fields which is a new uh, vertical within Cinema 4D. And Cinema 4D is a modeling program, if you didn't know, it's mainly used for motion graphics. Um, so there's that. Besides that, I spend a lot of time or spend a couple days or even a day just working on a balloon, um, getting the physics right using Obi rope. So here's that. Pop, 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 pop. Um, so uh, basically when the user grabs it, it'll have like real string physics and it'll act like a real balloon, which I think is really important because we want to suspend disbelief in our experience. Uh, you know, a lot of the week was spent on conversations on how we're going to iterate for the 15th prototype, uh, August 15th prototype, on how we can get the intro sequence fully polished and realized. Um, we started reaching out and thinking about like what animations need to be in there. So having things come from where the door is going to be to where the participant is going to be. So we're still determining that distance. And so um, that's going to inform our animator, who is Amanda Clark, so here's some of her stuff. Bah, 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 bah. And um, basically we're gonna have a big, a sassy, aristocratic walk uh, to the user because our cat's big and chubby and he has this big fluffy cheeks. And uh, basically it'll walk around you and um, it'll sit for a minute and then as soon as you start walking, or it'll, it'll, you know, there's basically a three part animation to it and we're just, we need to determine what the distance is so that we can scope with the amount of animation that she needs to do. Um, as well as just having a lot of different conversations of like what the pipeline is going to be for like what people we need. So we're going to do a lot of hand animation with the cat and the cat is going to be basically doing this really sophisticated walk, but then also trying to maybe find people to help with like maybe the cat chasing you, picking you up. Um, but that's just, that's on the down low. And also, um, you know, uh, to differentiate that, we're gonna use Motion Builder for all the characters. So finding people who can help clean up the data or possibly just wanna try out cleaning up data because we're just gonna be blending a lot of different animation clips together and hopefully they will um, look spicy. Uh, but there's that's why I've been sending a lot of different emails and reaching out to people. Uh, this week has been a lot about reaching out to people and just trying to find more and more animators as well as people who understand the VC um, market and also just trying to iterate and learn about that entirely, like the business side of things. As a person who comes from an artistic background and not a developer background, I haven't really thought about the business stuff too much. I usually self-fund my own projects. So thinking about how I can um, reach out to people and help our artists get paid in a really um, professional manner is something that I really become a passion of mine and also just something that I need to learn about in general. Um, yeah, and also just reaching out to someone every week trying to learn about real-time animation, meaning like uh, an actor in the scene with you, uh, is just something else uh, we've been uh, iterating and also we've been creating a calendar for everything that the studio is doing as well. Uh, just getting a timeline of like, oh, I'm, we're gonna be moving into a space and it'll be like a live workspace for me and it'll be really big so we can do motion capture and we can have like studio sessions. So uh, that's the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If I, uh, I did forget to showcase this. So here is the father. Um, and then uh, also um, the girl is almost rigged and here is the monster. Um, the monster, we're spending a little bit more time because we want to make sure that it represents 
like the anxiety energy that the experience is supposed to be about. So we're doing a lot of different iterations and really taking our time with that. And just because we're a little bit more behind on the other ones, we're taking a little bit more time and space to do um, what we truly uh, want to make an experience. And hopefully we won't have to redo it if we were to receive funding or even if we continue without funding. Uh, just because I think that uh, the, the monster is something that you're gonna personify in the experience. We really wanna have an expressive large face, as you can see from the drawings. So now this is the blog. Thanks for killing the game. Maybe blessing your journeys. Bye.